Do you need help setting up your Google ads conversion tracking for Shopify? In this video, I'm going to help you exactly with that. Hey guys, it's Dustin with Clicks Geek here. Before we get started, if you can please click the thumbs up below, I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more great content. Now let's dive into this. Okay, so real quick, the reason that we need to set up Google Ads tracking for Shopify is so that we can track any purchases that come through your store. Without this tracking in place, none of that data would come into Google so that we can optimize the campaign. Let's go to conversions. Okay, so then once you're on this page, you go to new conversion action website. You can drop your store URL in there for Shopify. And then we're going to do add a conversion action manually. Our goal category would be purchase. And then you can name this purchase. And then for this, we're going to do use different values for each one. We have a little piece of code that will drop into Shopify that will actually dynamically change the value for that product if it varies from product to product. If it doesn't, you can technically just add a flat rate conversion amount. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to replace that dynamically using that code. And I'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to say every, because it's going to count every sale. So if a consumer comes in and they make a purchase today and they make a purchase the next day, we want to be able to track all of those because those would be creditable. So let's we'll like that. We'll leave that at one as a minimum, and then we'll track every, we can leave this as a data-driven model here. This is fine. And then click done and then click save and continue. And then on this page, we have to place two pieces of code. We have to place a global site tag on our page, and then we have to place a event tag. So this one here is our global site tag. So we'll just copy this. And then go over to your Shopify store and I'll show you where to place this. Okay. Once you've reached your page, click on online store, click these three little dots on your active theme and then edit code. And then you're looking for your theme dot liquid. And then we're going to place this just before the closing of the head tag. Like we did the verification piece for Google merchant center. So it's just right down here or we can search again. Okay, there it is. Let's just place this right before our Google Merchant Center tag and then click save. And then we want to navigate over to our settings. And then once you're on your settings page, you want to go to checkout and accounts. Scroll down to the bottom here and you'll see additional scripts. We want to paste that global site tag in there. And then we also want to place our event snippet in there as well. This code will only be displayed once a consumer makes a purchase. So let's go back to our Google ads account right down here. We'll see event snippet and then we'll just on page load. We'll copy that and then navigate back over to our order page and paste that in. And then the pieces of code, the two pieces of code that we need to alter here are the value. This is what I was talking about earlier. We're going to make this a dynamic value. And then our transaction ID, we want to replace that as well with our order ID. These little pieces of code that you need to replace here, I'll paste these down in the description so that you can just grab them out of the description. Okay. And the first one we're going to replace is the value. So you just highlight that entire place there. And then you can see here that it's going to do checkout, total price, money without currency. So it's just going to have just that value. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is our transaction ID. There you go. And it's replacing that with the order number. It's going to put that order number in there. That way there's no double tracking of orders. And then you click save. And then navigate back over to your Google ads account. Close that out and click done. And congratulations, you have set up Google tracking. What I do recommend is running through a test purchase. That way you know that the tracking is working. 
You can always refund that test, but make sure that it has a real dollar value. Make sure that everything is working properly. And then if it isn't, run back through this video and see if something's missing, a step you've missed, and just correct that. If you're interested in having our company manage your e-commerce marketing, please reach out to us by using the application link that's just in the description below this video. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. I have Google Shopping optimization videos. I can link that in the description below so that you can check on that. Have a great day. Bye-bye.